Good day folks. Today on the bench I'm going to tell you Brent's Boatman. Here's a little fly that I came up with many years ago and still proven very effective today. Got a nice shiny shell back on it. Got kind of a buggy body pearl underneath to imitate the uh, gas bubbles of the water Boatman. So we'll have these materials get ready to tie your fly. We want to use, I'm going to use a size 10. This is a Gamagatsu dry, a traditional dry fly hook. I'm going to fish this fly unweighted. Uh, for the body, we are going to use some this uh, some dubbing I blended up myself. Just made it with some rabbit fur. And I trimmed off some skins and added some ice dub and a few other little colors in there. Kind of a tan or what other colors you think. Maybe some darker colors sometimes will work good too. The shell back, I'm going to use some mottled oak thin skin and we're going to cut about a quarter, about an eighth of an inch wide strip. And then for the legs, I'm just going to use some goose bites, the gray or tan. And for underneath, we're going to just use some pearl crystal flash. This here is kind of more finer crystal flash. I like that it's not a little easier to work with. And the thread, we're going to just use some brown 6 aught thread. So we'll get started here, put our hook in the vise. You can use a nymph hook too if you have something like that. I, I'm just using this dry fly hook. Keep it as light as possible. You can use a, a dub seal body, it's nice too. I'm just tying it the way I, I did originally and just keep, keep working along with that. Now you'll notice with the uh, thin, no, let's go starter, so I'm going to tie in the underbelly here first. And that is some pearl crystal flash. Just take a soft loop or two here, lash it along, and then just pull it on the bottom of the hook. Leave it on the bottom of the shank. Now we'll cut our thin skin off the strip there. And it comes in, it's just carded, it's on on some cardboard on the back of it here. One side of the thin skin will be shiny and one side will be dull. And I'm going to tie a dull side up. That way when I pull it over it'll be shiny. You can use probably some scud back or whatever you, you want. I like this coloration on that mottled oak thin skin. It really looks nice when it's done. So we'll get in here with my dubbing. You can use probably a, another kind of a, I use some, I like hair here, I want some buggy, I, I put some other hair, you'll see how buggy this is getting. And I like flies that got a buggy nature to them. There, we'll get the back tied in. we we'll go with about halfway up the shank, put nice thick body there. And I'll take one of my goose bites with curve out, just going past the tail a little bit, past the bend I should say, past the bend of the hook to measure the wing. And I'll grab another goose bite, curved side out, just past the wing again, I'll hold that on the side with my thumbnail, and I just wrap these in good and tight, clip off the butts, yeah, they're about right. Nice and even. And then the front I'm going to dub a little thinner body on it. Just kind of give it more of a taper. And that should about do us right there. Get our fibers out of the way. Make sure we got a good tie-off point in the front. I'm going to come underneath with my uh, pearl crystal flash. I've got one strand out the back. I'll cut that off later. It's a little short. And just catch it underneath. Fold it back over itself. Make sure there's none in the eye. And really wrap that down good. you got six odd thread. You can lean on that pretty good. A little straggler there. Just pop that out. And take my shell back. Now I should have this shiny side up. I'm going behind and get some good turns on this. Now you can tie it back over itself. It's kind of a thicker material. 
I just lay my scissors on along the angle of the eye and trim it off there. And then I'm going to put a fairly big head on this one. I'm going to have a big head on that. Boatmen have a big, big head. Now a lot of guys are fishing um, weighted patterns to get them to dive. That's a good idea uh, as well. They, a lot of times fish will take them on the drop. And then there's also the other times where they like them pretty neutral buoyant or even floating. Another really good pattern out there is Jennings Ultimate Bowman made entirely out of foam. I'll get one of those out for you just to show you. It's, uh, it's a really a cool fly that Steve Jennings did years ago and uh, it kicks along. I've done a lot, of, a lot of work on this painting it and everything but it, it floats and kicks along really good. I've fished that even on top with floating lines and done well. So it's not always down deep but what I've done with my pattern, it's pretty neutral buoyant. I like to fish a lot of flies that way and uh, it'll stay in the zone a long time. Now if I want it to dive I simply put a split shot at my tippet knot and then that when I pull it it comes along and when I let my line drop that heavy um, put maybe BB shot, double B shot on the front about three feet ahead of this or four feet ahead of it even, three feet is pretty good and it'll it'll drop nice it really acts well in the water and then when you pull your line in again when you retrieve it you kind of it kind of comes up again a little bit so you get a bit more of that action I'm looking for when you're fishing water bowman you definitely just want a couple, a couple quick hand twists and then a pause the fish generally eat the fly on the pause so that's really critical that you wait for that that pause and um, this fly is really effective in the fall and early spring when you'll see little rain droplets hitting the water, you don't see any clouds in the sky, that's water boatmen coming back in the lake they're migrating back in and th these water boatmen live in the lake all year round, they're, uh, they're, they're in there all the time and boy I'll tell you, them fish love eating them so here's a fly that uh, we'll have in the shop on the online store for you as well and if not uh, get and wrap some of these up. This, this little fly has been very, very good for us for years. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca. And if you'd like to book an adventure like this one shown, head to onthefflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.